Tragedy of the Commons Tragedy of the Commons was first conceptualized in 1833 by British writer William Forster Lloyd. First posited in 1968 by American ecologist Garrett Hardin. Tragedy of the Commons is a situation in which common environmental resources are abused and exploited and eventually depleted, posing risks to everyone involved. Tragedy of the commons is an economic problem where individuals have access to a shared resource and act in their own interest at the expense of other individuals. This can result in overconsumption, underinvestment, and depletion of resources. The tragedy of the commons can also be applied to the result of the pandemic was that people began to stock up on food and utilities. People likely assumed that everyone else would stock up as well and, so the only solution was to preempt this scenario and stockpile food before the next person could. People were thinking logically, but not collectively. Individuals took advantage of opportunities that benefited themselves, but spread out the harmful effects of their consumption across society. Retailers responded by imposing restrictions on the number of items one could buy, but it was too late. Entire grocery aisles were empty, wiped clean. Another example of the tragedy of the commons lies in overfishing in Canada, the Grand Banks fishery off the coast of Newfoundland. Abundant in cod, the fishery allowed fishermen to catch as many cod as they desired without negatively impacting their population. Then, in the 1960s, advancements in technology allowed fishermen to catch vast quantities of cod, far more than before. By the 1990s, the fishing industry in the region collapsed because there wasn't enough fish to go around. Those fishermen thought logically, but not collectively, which led to their downfall. A potential solution to this is to affix property rights to public spaces. Overall, limiting consumption and usage can assist avoid resource depletion by reducing overconsumption, and government investment in resource conservation and regeneration can help prevent resource depletion.